Hi, hello everyone! Welcome to an unboxing video and first impressions with me, aka, no wait, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Um, if you have not been here before, you will not be confused. If you have been here before, you might be confused because there's stuff going on. I'm changing some stuff up to try make the lighting a little easier, the reflection. There's still a reflection. I wear glasses. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. Um, now let's get to the unboxing bit. Okay. This is a diplomat pen, not an actual diplomat like person. Uh, this pen has been sent to me by Papier und Stift in Germany. It is a new finish of the Diplomat, so let's take a look at it. We're gonna unbox it, first of all. It's just a sleeve, not very exciting. Sleeve protects the metal box on the inside, like it's a metal lid, aluminum, with like a really smooth, satiny type finish. It's got the Diplomat logo. Now, these boxes are not super big. I find them a bit confusing because it's got a metal top and a, a, like a cardboard bottom. And I'm like, why? Why not? Or why do that? I find them a little big, but you know, I hate packaging. So what I do like is that their packaging is consistent. So depending on, like, it doesn't depend on your pen. Your pen will have this box, right? Like all the Diplomat arrows, like the pens that are roughly this size have this packaging, the excellence, that kind of stuff. So you can flip it. Then you got like a little display tray, which is kind of cute. So let's remove that display tray and see what's inside. Uh, there's the Diplomat paper. I like, again, I, I like Diplomat pens, but I'm like, what is this? Okay, so it's like this, it's just a paper and then you take it out. I'm like, I don't, I don't want this. The bed inside is really cute, satiny with the, the Diplomat logo. And underneath it is two, ink cartridges, a service guide warranty, and um, like inside it's like the usual, like this is your pen. Contents, diplomat philosophy, writing instruments, cultivating relationships, fountain pens, writing position, width of nib, cartridge or converter, etc, etc. Um, actually not the most terrible thing to read. If you're new to fountain pens or if you're curious about diplomat, it's actually kind of useful. Now, this pen is a limited edition. Not gonna tell you what it is yet. Actually, I guess I might as well tell you now. Uh, <laughs> it is this pen. Why am I holding it like this? This is really weird. What is happening? This pen. This is the Diplomat Aero Volutes limited edition. This is number 56 out of 1,000. And this piece of paper is your certificate of authenticity. It is handwritten, 56 of 1,000 on there. Um, just a little piece of cardstock, like nothing incredibly fancy, but do you really need anything incredibly fancy? Probably not! So this is the pen. Let's do some pen details, shall we? Got my notebook. Why do I have a notebook? Because I can't remember all the stuff off the top of my head. Uh, so this is the arrow. It's got the, like they've got other colors, brown, um, orange, blue, stuff like that. So, some details, some detail. Price, um, 209 euros without VAT. So roughly 240 US dollars. Not an inexpensive pen, like that's not super cheap. Um, but let's talk some more. Where can you buy this? Papier and Stift, link below. The body material is aluminum. Section, aluminum, trim. Aluminum. Do you see where I'm going with this? Aluminum. The nib is not aluminum. The nib is stainless steel. So, <laughs> Diplomat Arrow features a Zeppelin-inspired body with grooves in the body and cap. You'll see that in the writing sample portion. The black and white marbled technique that you're seeing here is a hydro-dipping marbling technique. They create this by swirling color dyes. They're floated on the surface of a solution. Um, each pen is dipped, transferring the pattern to the body of the pen. Then there's a protective coating that is applied, and of course then each pen has a unique uh, like pattern of swirl, right? The technique is called water transfer printing. Ah! So, as I said, this one has a steel nib on it. You can get gold nibs. I will say this, every Diplomat nib I've ever used, like on the Excellence, the, I've used a couple arrows, they have been superb, really, really nice writers. So that's pretty awesome. It's got a lot of stuff that I like. 
Um, you'll see more details, but like, let me just tell you. One of the things I really like is this. One of the things I really like is the clip. Super slim, really intimate with the cap. Um, and I really like the nib. So, standard international short cartridge, takes a converter, it came with a converter. And that's basically it for the blabbing part of this pen. It's nice. I like it. Um, I cannot say I really, like when I first saw it, I was like, that's an odd finish. In person, it's really nifty. I, like it's kind of, it's not quite a zebra, but I definitely see the swirl, right? Like they dipped it and it like sucked up to it and stuff like that. So interesting pen. I really like the writing experience. I'm super excited for you to see it in action because it's really pleasant. So we're going to go do that. Thank you so much to Peppy of Unstieft for sending this over for me to share with you. I hope you find this useful so far. Oh my God, I'm sounding like SBRE Brown. It's just habit because I've heard that so many times. We'll get, what else can I say? Um, uh, ciao. No, that doesn't make sense either. It's a, oh my God, I'm just going to go. Okay, bye. Hello, everyone. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's try that again. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I was just moving the mic. Uh, welcome to the writing portion of the Diplomat Aero Volute. Um, we can look at the pen a little bit more in detail. It's not a small pen. It's actually, like, I. it's pretty substantial in my opinion. Okay, I'm trying to... No! Move out! Okay. Um, I'm trying to adjust that. So... Cute little finial. I actually like it. It's like a gunmetal with a little flower pattern. Um, I like the clip because I like clips that are really close to the cap, slim profile. Um, it's very tight, so it's going to hold your pen securely. The pen has this like rippled body that you can see as I rotate it, pointy back. But again, it's a pretty large pen, uh, in my opinion. Like for me, it's it's not a tiny pen. Um, maybe it's the, the thickness that makes it feel like that. I don't know. And uncapped, uh, snap cap, like it, or magnetic. It's got a really nice right here. It's super smooth and then it's got a nice satisfying click. Love that about this pen. Really feels good. Um, metal section, which is, uh, like, like a brushed, like a satiny finish and it feels not, it's not slippery, but it's smooth. So you got to think about that if you're uh, sensitive to that kind of thing. It's slightly on the narrow side, like just a tiny bit, but because the pen is not particularly heavy, I find it okay to work with. Um, you can see that unposted, it works really well. The cap does post snugly and securely. Actually, it's not obscene when it's posted, but um, like it could be used, like I could use it like this, but I prefer it. Unposted, it uses the standard international cartridge converter. Oh, I'm actually almost out of ink. Uh, well, I am out of ink, so let's, uh, I might have to re-ink it. Um, a really thick barrel there, so that's interesting. And you can also, let's take a look at that pattern a little. Um, so you can see like this random swirling, the black and white swirling from the hydro dip technique. It is, I don't really have to describe it. It's not, it's not metallic, um, but it's glossy, like it is coated. So there you go. Uh, now let's do some writing, shall we? Let's hope it actually writes. If it doesn't write, I'm going to pause and return, like if it's out of ink, because I inked this like a month ago. And I've obviously been writing with it a lot because I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay. That's okay. We can do this. Um, we got the Diplomat Aero, the Volute. This is a limited edition. I have a broad steel nib on here, which is very pleasant. And to be honest, the Diplomat makes some of the most, in my opinion, pleasant steel writers that I've ever used. They are fairly firm, but they are reliable, consistent, and like it feels really good. Um, smooth, wet. Uh, okay, and the ink, actually the ink is, oh boy, the ink is definitely drying out. Mont Blanc, 
elixir pulpre. So it's a medium wet rider, uh, not super wet. Not super wet. That skip in there was for me, not the pen. Uh, but this is a broad, and it's pretty generous on the tipping. Again, these skips, please don't panic. Uh, it's probably just because the pen is drying out. Well, it is just because the pen is drying out. Um, so I'm going to pause here and re-ink it because I don't want you to think it sucks because it don't suck. So I'll be right back. I figured for fun, I will just bring you along for the inking ride. So here's the ink. We're going to re-ink it. Oh, isn't this so fun? It's like we're inking together. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm just going to do a ton of it. Close her up. Oh, isn't this so much fun? Spending this time together with you. Inking pens. I'm just going to dry it off and suck some ink out of the feet a little so it's not, like, falsely saturated. You know what I mean? Okay. Wasn't that so exciting to do that together? Oh my god. Okay. Um, there we go. So, it is nice and luby with the ink. That's the feeling I get with these Diplomat nibs. Like, they feel super lubricated when you're writing. Doesn't really matter what ink you're using. It's just that that's how smooth the steel is. How nice and polished. Okay, I am writing while looking through the camera. I know it is horrendous. You're just going to have to live with it. So, in terms of line variation... Um, there's basically none. What you will get is just a water pool of ink, which you can see the difference between these two. And, um, easily keeps up with fast writing. Like, this thing is, seriously, it's awesome. And they're not cheap pens, like, they're not inexpensive, but, um, I don't know. I feel like they're underloved, underrated, or something, you know what I mean? Um, because... They perform just, they're, they're really quite solid. So, like, if you want, like, a mid-range price pen, like, not super expensive, but it's, it comes with a bit of a premium, um, it's probably not going to be the best value for a pen you can ever buy, but you want to, like, if you want to give it as a gift or you just want a pen that's going to work, I actually find them quite decent. Their gold nibs are delightful, and I just, I think they're really nice overall. I don't know if you're gonna, like, the finish is kind of interesting. I'm still not sure, like, how I feel about it. I'm like, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it. It's kind of odd, but kind of fun. You know, it's different, so. Uh, yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope this was educational, useful, and possibly a tiny bit entertaining. Thank you so much to Papier und Stift for sending this pen over so I could share it with you. I hope you guys found it useful again. Uh, please check them out on uh, the socials. And you can find me on the socials as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, Instagram, and uh, something else. What was the other thing? No, YouTube. Oh, no, you're already on YouTube. Whatever. And also as Toronto Pen Company. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've had enough caffeine yet. My brain is still off. I'm going to go now. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>